Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther and I'm a 30 year old cash budgeter. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about my binders right here and kind of the purpose behind each one. So let's go ahead and start with my purple binder. This is our spending binder. So in here, a lot of our envelopes are things such as groceries, eating out, gas, date night, hubby. So this is if my husband wants to spend anything, spending. And so that's if I want to buy anything and coffee. Um, sometimes on the weekends, we like to have a coffee date at Starbucks or something. Um, so if we do, I'll pull from that coffee binder. But typically, I'll make most of my coffees at home. Our next binder that we have here is more of our uh, bills binder. So here we have utilities, phone bill, gym, car insurance, and retirement. Um, this retirement is more for Roth because we do have a 401k taken out of our paychex automatically through both of our works and then miscellaneous. So if we need anything um, that's related to bills, but we don't have that money, um, then we can pull from that binder. And you may have noticed in this binder that we don't have a car payment or rent or mortgage. And that's because that amount is set every month and it gets directly pulled from our bank account. So I don't pull that money out to stuff. Instead, I just make sure that that money is already in there. Um, and there's enough to pull every month. The next one is our low priority um, sinking funds binder. And this is more like, um, I don't need to spend this every month, but sometimes I'll pull money from here. So this, I wouldn't call it low, I guess. This is more of like a medium priority. So this would be like gifts, any gifts that we want to purchase for our friends um like if they got a promotion at work or if they got engaged this will come from here costco um we try to have a separate costco binder i just feel like every time you go to costco you get sucked into buying all these random things that you don't need so having a budget to spend at costco will really help us hopefully next is amazon um and then we also have haircuts self-care um clothes household, toiletries, and health and wellness. And health and wellness is more like if we wanted to do like an activity, like go hiking and that required money, or we wanted to, um, you know, take a program or something or hire a personal trainer, that's kind of where we would pull that money from. Our next one is our long-term priority binder um this is still priority but it's kind of a mix between these two folders um but i would say this is a higher priority than that one so in here we have birthdays so this is some of our special friends if they have birthdays coming up and also our parents uh this is where we'll pull from and then holidays so um i think the next holiday that's coming up that we'll actually spend some money on will be mother's day so we'll be pulling from this binder next is our emergency fund like i said um really want to put enough aside for emergency fund where we do feel comfortable just in case something happens so i want to continue stuffing this but we do have some in the bank already um car maintenance so this is like oil change um or anything like that new house um so currently my husband and i do live in the northeast but i really really want to get away from the cold it is march and it's still snowing outside and i am not a cold person so i really want to be able to potentially move down to the south like south carolina or north carolina area so we're saving up for us to be able to purchase a new house there. This is definitely a long-term goal. Um, it's not something that's going to happen in this year or next, but we're hoping that we can at least save money. So when we do decide to make this move, we have that money already. Next here, we have home maintenance. So that's on our current home. If we need to do any renovations or anything, we can pull from here. 
and then furniture um is this binder medical we have here and this is like doctor's visits you know dental visits or anything like that and electronics um that's like um you know my ipad if i want a new one um it is haven't bought one in like eight years or something so if i need one then that's where we would pull from but we don't have enough money in there right now but we're trying to save up for one our next binder which is our big green binder is our travel binder um one of our priorities in life for my husband and i is to travel we we love to explore the world and see different cultures so we do try to prioritize some of our money every year towards travel obviously if things are not going well we're not gonna just spend money to go travel but we will try to set aside money for some of our trips a lot of these trips are more just potential ideas but as you can see they're not booked they're not a hundred percent gonna happen um and the ones that i really want to go on i will stuff so one is a jamaica trip this one we actually have booked recently um and this is gonna be a nice warm vacation um next month in april so i've started stuffing for that so that we can start purchasing flights and hotels and then on different trip is europe i don't know if that's gonna happen though but i did stuff a little bit of money in there um uh, maine like i said we do live in the east coast so maine would be a quick quick trip for us but i don't know if this is gonna happen either Jersey Shore, um, so this would be a July 4th weekend. We go down to the beach and just stay there for a week. Uh, I did book this already last year and actually paid for the hotel. So I'm saving up for food and everything. So this shouldn't be too much. I think we just need a few hundred dollars for food as well as gas to drive down there. Uh, so hopefully this will be stuffed soon. Um, road trip, if we want to just go on any road trips, then this is where we put some money away. And China, so um, my family is from China and I haven't been able to see them since 2018, I think. So it has been almost five years. None of them were able to attend my wedding and my grandparents uh, do still live there. So we do want to try to go back at some point and visit them i think we're gonna try to go this year so i'm gonna try to really stuff this up um because flights are kind of expensive but the good news for us is when we go there we only have to pay for flights because we do have family there so um food and lodging will be covered for us so we just need to save up enough money for that flight back to china and next is honeymoon. Um, so like I said previously, uh, my husband and I just got married recently, a few months ago. But we actually didn't go on a honeymoon yet because we really wanted to save up for that. Um, we, we spent a lot of our savings um, towards our honeymoon. And we wanted to make sure that we weren't overspending our money. So we made a decision to wait um a year basically and go on our honeymoon on our one year anniversary so i've been really trying to save up for that trip we do have some money in here but obviously we do still have to continue stuffing this so okay okay so the next folder that i have is my business finder um i just recently started my etsy shop so i'm trying to you know put some money away to hopefully grow my business and also bring some better products to everybody so that's where kind of this binder comes in play most of this is still empty because i'm so new in this um area so a lot of them i don't think i actually need but i do try to put some money away so that when i do need something for the business um i'm able to use it and create some products and the final binder that we have here is my baby binder this is actually my favorite binder of all times i just think this binder is adorable especially for a baby it has both a little bit of blue and a little bit of pink so it works for either 
boy or a girl. Um, so my husband and I are not pregnant and I don't think we plan on, you know, um, getting pregnant or trying until next year. But like I said, I see all these people who are so inspirational because they put a couple dollars away every week and then it does add up. And I just am so worried that, you know, when we do have a baby, we don't have enough money um, because everyone always says that babies are so expensive and that's one of my biggest worries. And I feel like if I can start stuffing money away for the baby now, maybe I will feel better. So that's why I created my baby binder and I just have a lot of empty folders. Um, however, my plan is for my first cash stuffing cut that's coming up here you'll see that i'll just stuff a little bit of money into each of these binders every single week hopefully so that's the goal so thank you so much everyone for kind of listening to the purpose of all my binders and i am super excited for my first cash stuffing so stay tuned for that coming up or um later this week thank you